Welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven, and today, tonight, whenever the heck you're watching this, we are getting into Woodford Reserve Bourbon, a brown form and staple. Woodford Reserve Bourbon. What the heck is this? So this is a bourbon from Woodford, which is owned by Brown Foreman. It is 45.2% ABV, which is a very strange alcohol by volume. I don't know why Woodford prefers that. Maybe they find that their expressions are better with that extra 0.2 than the typical 45. Not quite sure. Or maybe they just wanted to be different and they're like, hey, let's just tack another 0.2% on. I don't know, uh, but most of Woodford Reserve stuff is like this. This is a 72% corn, 18% rye, 10% malted barley mash bill, and it is roughly around $25 to $30 depending on where you're located. In my area, this bad boy is $30, so I'm going to grade it as such. Um, this is just one of those brown Foreman bottles that for me, it kind of collects dust a little bit. Um, I haven't had it in a very, very long time. Why does it collect dust? I'm not quite sure. Who knows? But let's get into this. This is, from my memory, a budget bourbon, but it's also at a budget price. So let's just go ahead and get in on the nose. Wow. Hello, Brown Foreman. Banana runs, nutty cashews, little bit of like a coffee cake, some caramel in there. It's honestly just banana bread. I know that's like a scapegoat term for bourbons, especially like brown foreman bourbons, but like banana bread, it's so much banana bread on the nose. The nose is actually quite lovely. Maybe a little bit of like a cherry in there as well. Like a red maraschino cherry. Definitely getting some nice like oak. The longer it sits in the glass, that nuttiness, that uh, cashew nuttiness starts like gaining and less that, that like banana runts note that's like very typical that I'm getting. It's kind of fallen in the background or maybe I'm just acclimating, who knows. Mm. Yeah, it's honestly, it's such a scapegoat answer for any brown Foreman product, but it's that banana bread. It's a nice like banana run, slightly bready, has a nice little like almost like coffee cake bread in there. It's honestly, it's like a hybrid of if you combined a banana bread and a coffee cake together. Cause there is a nice little like underlying little bit of like almost like a coffee oak dark caramel in there. Let's go ahead and get on the palette. Ooh. Cashews. Why is it cashews? I've never gotten cashews on this. Cashews, dark oak, caramel. Oh, and then getting that banana runs. A little bit of like a, almost like a pepper, like a peppery note in there as well. Mm. Getting nice oak on the side, caramel down the middle, vanilla, black pepper, banana runs, a little bit of like a cherry. It's honestly just, this is such a traditional brown foreman product like this is just that banana runs coffee cake got a nice little bit of like oak banana heavy oak nice little bit of nuttiness some breadiness some graham cracker nice caramels and vanillas that's the main thing is like this has so much vanilla in it very vanilla forward uh the banana runs a little bit in the background compared to the nose where it was kind of jumping out at me at first and then it finishes into like this weird little like peppery oak
Yeah, the oak, vanilla, bananas. So much oak. It's very heavy on the oak and then finishes into like kind of like a black pepper creme brulee type like vanilla oak. Overall, really good. Finishes, I would say about moderate. It, it fits for the the percentage, everything that's going on in here. Um, not thin, but not overly viscous either. It's just, honestly, this bottle is very middle down the road. It's average. Uh, for $30. Let's think. So $30, a middle of the road bourbon. I like it. I mean, it's it's not a bad whiskey. It's just very middle of the road, down the road, that typical brown form and flavor profile, but it's not like packing any sort of insane punch. Honestly, I greatly prefer the Old Forster 100 proof over this, and that is $20 in my area, where this is $30, so... I think overall, I'm going to just give this a flat B. I think it's, I think it's good. It's just, there's nothing amazing about it per se. Uh, but like, it's also like, it's very traditional. You get the sweet oak, that vanilla caramels, that like fruitiness, that like nice cherry, a little bit of that brown form and banana, that nuttiness, the oak. The only interesting thing out about this that's like outside of that typical like Old Forcer flavor profile is this is, it has a little bit more oak than I thought I would have gotten on this. But I think it's just a solid flat B. I think this is just average for me. I don't think there's anything special to write home about it, but I don't think it's a bad whiskey overall. So that's going to be a wrap for this video. If you like this content, please do us a favor, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you guys thought about our review. Let us know what you guys think about this bottle. I know this is a well-known bottle and a lot of people seem to love it. I'm okay with it. I would just rather take an old Forcer product over it. And my drinking habits definitely show that before I had this review, after this review, uh, they definitely show that still. So it is what it is. Also, check out the Instagram, the Facebook, and the Patreon. The link for that is down there below. We appreciate y'all for all your support. Cheers. We'll see you later.